initiate a three-team joint operation in areas Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. Each team will clear the origami from their area. This operation will also function as a live fire test of the Wide Area Link Support Device Type 01. Each operator will monitor for anything that may disrupt the fire field. Area Alpha, all green. Area Beta, all green. Area Gamma, all um, green. All areas green. Proceed with the mission. I'm sure your enemy data shield is discovered. Nana's residence is brought in all the origami. I'd like to start testing the wide area link support device now. All operators, there are no anomalies detected near the operational areas, correct? All right, engaging initiation sequence. Three, two, one. Typo one, engage. Wait, what's going on? Typo one emitting an unforeseen bias field pulse. Origami and operational areas are receiving a major boost to their abilities. Everyone, stay alert. How, how did this happen? No more regular bias fields were even detected. This bias field interference pattern, it's originating from area gamma? It is? Aurora, why did the area you're sweeping? Is anything showing up on radar? Got it. One second. Wait. This is... Hakubi! I missed it! I'm so sorry! So that's what's twisting the bias field. I calculate five minutes before Link support disengages. Hakubi is about to pass through area beta. It's heading for area alpha. This is bad. We're already in trouble with area alpha. If the Hubie were to make it to Aegis... This is Team Beta. I got eyes on him. He's a biggie. I'll go slow him down for you. Hold it, Haru. It's too dangerous. Don't worry. I'll just take some pot shots to distract him. I got this. Tell everyone else to fall back. But... Okay, got it. Good luck. Gilbert's residence waves facing attack power across the board. Well done. Okie dokie. In you go. Here. Sorry, everyone. I must be getting older or something. I can't hold it back any longer. Haru? Y your vitals are... I thought you said you were just taking pot shots. Oh, wait. You took it head on, didn't you? Hey, don't tell everyone. Haru, thank you for holding it off so long. The QB is now entering Area Alpha. Everyone, I know that things look tough. But hang in there, okay?
fight. Hold still. Jeez. You know, Fran, it wouldn't kill you to be a bit more gentle. A pretty face like yours should never cause a man pain. Right. Well, Nurse Ye's out for the moment, so it looks like you're stuck with me. Suck it up. Ma'am, yes, ma'am. Uh, would you rather we switch, then? I can do it. No, no, thank you, no. When it comes down to it, I don't know what kind of crap you pull, little bro. <laughs> That's fair. Um... You guys, I just want to say that I really am sorry. Hey, hey, none of that. Don't sweat it, Urara. I'm a tough guy. I'll just rub some dirt in it. Everything will be fine. But I should have... Listen, it's not your fault. It's mine, and I hope you all can forgive me for it. I thought I had considered the risks, but I guess not. The wide area link support device is just too unstable to work. What can you do, right? Gotta break some eggs to make an omelet. Trust me, I get it. When I was a kid, I had to learn pickup lines the hard way. Yep. I got turned down plenty before I scored my first yes. And this wide area link support thing will be almost as important when it gets the kinks worked out. <laughs> so keep at it. Sometimes you gotta kick the tires and think happy thoughts. Get me? 
So admittedly, that's probably not how we wanted the tests to go, but we did get a lot of good results about bias field origami impact. We'll have to make a few minor adjustments. No big deal. <laughs> another test of the wide area link support device type 01. All operators, report your status. Area alpha, all green. Uh, area beta. All green. Gotta do this. I can't mess up like last time. The origami are being hindered by Romeo's resonance ability. Thanks to Libby, you'll now revive if you are knocked out in combat. A massive hostile has entered the combat zone. Send in the coordinates. It's time. I'd like to start the test of the wide area link support device. Area Alpha reporting in. All green. Area Beta reporting. All... All green. Very well. Engaging initiation sequence. Three... One, type of one, engage. Type of one, all systems nominal. No interference patterns detected this time. We can all call this test a victory.
That should be it for this mission. Good work, everyone. Good job, people. It was close, but we managed to pull off the Type 01 test. Yes, it went really well. Everyone, try to get some rest. Oh, phew. Remember, you need rest. Good work. You all did very well. I hope I can help. Even a little. Don't worry about Urara. It's fine. I probably could have said that better. I didn't mean to be so harsh. Havari, you weren't. I'd tell you. You said what you had to. It was necessary, really. I'm sorry, too. I passed an ugly job over to you. No, it's fine. Promise. I mean, I understand where she's coming from. I remember feeling afraid. Empty. When I started, I was terrified. My first weeks, I was a wreck. So worried that I'd make the wrong move and someone would get hurt. I question why I wanted to be an operator in the first place. If I even deserved to be one. The same thing happened to me. It's radically different than the simulations. All those fears creep up in battle. What if I let a scout right into a lethal origami? What if more enemies are brought into fight? What if I don't see them coming in time? When you're an operator, these are nightmare scenarios, and also very real. Every action, every choice, walks the line of life and death. I get it too. Heck, I can swear you two are reading my mind. When I was an engineer, I'd hang out with the combat operators. We were stuck inside while the God Eaters fought for their lives. But actually being on the comms, giving reports? <laughs> I never knew how many heart-stopping moments there were until I'd experienced them. That panic never goes away. Seeing my friends hurt right before my eyes and I can't reach them? I still fight that urge to reach into the screen. Worse than that would be watching them get hurt and knowing I couldn't do anything. That I couldn't handle, so I became an operator. Yeah, to make sure it never happens. <gasps> Captain! I got scared. After what happened, I was sure I wasn't meant to be an operator. Like it was... was too much to put in my hands, you know? But every day, you guys fight against that same fear. It's like you know my worries better than I do, and you can defeat them. If I slipped up and you got hurt, or if you... I couldn't handle it. I couldn't let that happen to you. And I won't... I'll always bring you home. initiate a test of the Wide Area Link Support Device Type 02. We've adapted the Type 02 to be better suited for practical combat applications. We fitted it with a bias field shielding mechanism we developed using the data from previous tests. However, we still don't know just how effective this will be. I'd like all operators to keep a close eye out for any changes to the bias field in their areas. Residence wave is able to keep you in the fight if you get knocked out. Found us residence wave. 
Quakus made her the target of all the origami. Go defend her! It's time. Initiating test of the Wide Area Leak Support Device Type 02. Engaging initiation sequence. Three, two, one. Wide Area Leak Support Device engaged. The enemy is... Type 02's output appears to be stable. Observation towers reporting no unusual bias fields. We're seeing no problems. Well done. Not at all. 
I was freaking out. My heart was practically thumping out of my chest. You are a real piece of work, you know that? All right, let's try this then. Hold on, I'm here. We will now initiate a test of the Wide Area Link Support Device Type 03. Type 03 has also been outfitted with a bias field shielding mechanism. Just as in the previous test, please keep a close eye out for any changes to the bias field in your areas. All areas green. Proceed with the mission. <laughs> Levy, that's amazing. Her blood power can actually bring you back if you get too hurt. A large enemy just arrived. Here, this is the location. Blood Alpha, the burst time is running down.
sure we're all on board with naming you MVP today. Without a doubt, Urara. Seriously, where'd you come up with the idea to cancel out the bias fields? It was genius. To be honest, <laughs> it actually wasn't my idea at all. I borrowed it. One of the techs mentioned it offhand the other day. There was a lot of science talk and, well, they said it may fix the problem. Although right after... They laughed and said it would take a miracle for it to actually happen in the field. <laughs> Looks like they didn't anticipate you. It was your quiet effort that made a miracle happen on that field. I think that's a lesson all of us can take to heart. That's sweet of you to say, but I don't know if it's true. These missions are getting harder. The origami are getting smarter. Coordination between combat areas is critical. The use of wide area pulse fields has increased dramatically over the last few operations. Yeah, and nothing hits harder than a pulse field. <sighs> we need something to help the God Arcs push through it. I'll hit up my old friends in the maintenance crew, see what they got brewing. I still don't think I have what it takes to stand beside them, but I think I can learn. I can grow. And most important, one day I will be able to help. So I swear that I'll give my all! All right, team. Area Oracle responses are as we predicted. Instruments and vitals are all green. God Eaters are now clear to engage the enemy. Weapons free! Good luck. And that concludes our briefing. Thank you, and fight well. All operators, be sure to have your assigned region combat reports turned in by 1,200 hours tomorrow. You are dismissed. Um, Miss Hibari, can I ask you a question? Sure, what's on your mind? It's actually something that, well, you see, I was kind of, um, why did you all decide to become operators? to Fenrir because I wanted to fight. I wanted to be a god eater. I knew I'd have an edge if I studied strategy, and turns out I was pretty good at it. I was encouraged to take this route. Maybe it was meant to be. I never found a god arc that attuned to me or liked me. <laughs> so here I am. I... I didn't know. Wow. I don't know. Not being able to fight used to really eat at me. I always felt like there was more I could do. But I am more than proud to fight alongside the God Eaters in my own way. I'm an operator. I keep them safe. Plus, it's a nice perk of the job, getting to be the one who welcomes everybody home at the end of the day. Oh yes, everybody. supposed to mean <laughs> nothing at all I started off on the officer route I was a cadet back at HQ mid training something occurred to me everyone I met there was running from the front they weren't cadets to lead they were in it to save their own skin they were <sighs> they were all such idiots I couldn't stand the false bravado anymore so I requested a transfer to the action
Luckily, my parents agreed with the decision. Not that I couldn't have convinced them if I had to. I was confident I was right. Turns out, I actually was. No, I am so grateful to have met everyone here at the den. Everyone in blood, you've become like brothers and sisters. What is there to regret? <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass on that one. Who's next? Oh, man. Where do I begin this tale of heroism and other good stuff? I served as a combat engineer, you know? Down getting my hands dirty. I met all types in my many travels. Eventually, I figured I knew the God Ark so well, there had to be something better I could do with my knowledge. Something more. I applied for the transfer the next day, and bam! Here I am! Surprising. Sorry, that was probably a little rude, wasn't it? Well, I guess you are Haru's brother, so... <laughs> Do I look like I'd lie to you? That's it. Seriously. Yep, I can dig this. Life as an operator, that suits me just fine. Actually, I guess there is one thing that I kind of regret about leaving the Engineer Corps. What's that? All the time, I used to sneak God Arcs out of lockup and take them home. I'd tinker with them for hours. <laughs> Can't really do that now. Sorry, you've been doing what? <laughs> That's the reason? Really? <laughs> Come on. 